the law lives. Everyone called barren in this service is declared a mother and a father of children. I decree your release from the captivity of marital spares. Which includes marital delays. There is no one today under the sound of my voice that is set for marriage who will not be settled this year. There is no woman called barren or man called impotent that will not bring forth their seed for celebration. Forty second anniversary. Many will come heavy with pregnancy at Shiloh. Whatever represents a generational siege in any family, the siege of struggling for survival. The siege of business and career frustration. The siege of begging before you can eat. The siege of borrowing clothes to wear. Whatever represents a siege of the wicked on anyone's family, that siege is broken today. the depth of my heart with faith in God who sent me that every grace is giving me the opportunity to, to experience that you truly crave for, you truly desire as a son and a daughter of the prophet receive them in the name of Jesus. I pray today that everyone that ever mocked your faith must turn around to envy you this year. I pray that every mockery you may have suffered will be turned to double glory. And I stand in your faith. God said to me, Behold, I have touched your tongue with the coal of fire. He said, As you say it, you see it. Therefore, today, every word proclaimed on your life comes to pass with speed. Prophetic world will remain unemployed by the end of this operation. Many job seekers today will be turned to employers of labor. Like a dream of the night. For when the Lord turned up to Zion, we were like them that dream. There was a mouth we loved. Hallelujah. Awesome God. There was no new vehicle in our fleet when God gave us the first plane to fly. My God. He does anything that he wants to do. As your faith allows. As your faith allows. As your faith allows. We were there with when he built the old church. And we knew how long it took him to finish it. I said, they would do this one one year. He said, carry on Jesus. And he did it one year. As your faith allows, there are people called unemployed today that be turned to 
miracle employers of labor within this season. There are struggling businesses on the side of my voice that will be turned to breakthrough businesses. Every God of the land that stands against the proclamation, I decree God's judgment on them. Until the Lord visited the gods of the land of Egypt with judgment, Israel could not go. Therefore, I invoke the judgment of God, the judge of the world, against all the gods of the land that won't let you go. He said, the day of vengeance in my heart because the year of my redeemed has come. Come and say, my year has come. Say it convincingly. Say it against that situation. Now, now, come closer, come closer, come closer. Now, at the end of every seven years, oh my God, this is the end of the seventh year that marks your prophetic release. Say with me, my day has come. And that they connotes a manifestation of God's vengeance that won't let the day release his blessings. <laughs> For the day of vengeance is in my heart because your day has come, your year of release has come. Therefore, your release is established. Your breakthrough is going to next levels. Your triumph is going to next levels. Yeah. Your peace is moving to next level. Yeah. Your joy is moving to next level. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. As prompted by the Spirit, I'm going to lay down flat on that platform and leave you to take what you want from what he has given me. Whatever you want, what does this mandate contain? How is it manifesting in this, my prophet's life? Lord, I tap into it. I'm going to lay down there for five minutes. You cry to God for what you want, and then you get it.
to heaven and magnify him for what you have tapped into today. Celebrate him and glorify him. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Paul said, I long to see you that I may impart you some spiritual gift to the end that you may be established. What you have received today will establish you in your work with Christ for life. Not one of us here will look back from following Christ. Philippians 1 7, ye are all partakers of my grace. From now, nobody will doubt your source. Somebody asked me years ago, when you drive through here, what do you feel? I said, I feel God. I feel what? May you see God behind every event of your life. May you keep acknowledging him all the days of your life. May you never arrogate any achievement to your skill anymore. I've never been tempted to look back in 41 years. Beginning from today, you never look back anymore from following Christ. Not one of you that connects today will be found in a cause tomorrow. Not one of you will resort back to native doctors and herbalists again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please take up your bottles of oil as we round up in this service. This is one of the spiritual instruments given us in this commission. sent his word concerning this to us. Many have been blessed around the world by it. The things he taught me on this mystery, I never read in a book. Yet, not one thing he said concerning this has failed. Among other things, by this anointing today, the spirit that raised Christ from the dead will begin to manifest in your body. Every malfunctioning organ of your system shall be requickened to life. negative medical verdict on you members of your family 
shall be openly humiliated. Amen. For if the spirit of him that raised from the dead dwells in you, he that raised from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwells in you. In the precious name of Jesus, whatever came with you here as a sickness or disease under this meeting, and those we connect with it later, everything that came with you as not of God shall be flushed out of your life. David was anointed into a world of breakthroughs, anointed in chapter 16, and then brought down Gunnathan in chapter 17. Speedy. Breakthrough. So there's breakthrough power in the oil. Yes. The prophetic word has gone forth. The power to realize it by engaging in your path tirelessly is released by this oil on your life. Somebody believe that. Let me hear you loud and say, man. Prophets know how. With the rampage of kidnappings, ritual killings, on the streets of some nations, particularly in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by this oil, you are marked out from all evils. Yeah. 